Hello everyone, Zeno and Zuma here, and uh, welcome to a new Let's Play on this channel. This is a series that I enjoy quite a lot to play, but not really to watch. And if you've seen this, if you know this intro, you know this is Dynasty Warriors Gundam. It's one of the first uh, crossover Dynasty Warriors games. Honestly, out of the first three Dynasty Warriors games, this is honestly the best out of the three, which is saying something. Reborn managed to fix a lot of things though, so the fourth game managed to do something. This is actually my one of my first introductions into Gundam, and is honestly a really good way to get into Gundam. However... I've never really been into the original generation and been more into the very weirdness of G Gundam. This series is going to be quite odd since I am going to do official mode and original mode. But I'm going to be using a file to get through both because... Uh, Judo Ash's official mode is... God awful. You you'll see soon. Also, this is an amazing cinematic, and I wish this was in the game, but it's not. Dynasty Warriors Gundam. So. We'll get started immediately on this. Yes, I'm playing on an Xbox and I am using a uh, old file. We'll start with Amuro Ray, Hero of the One Year War. And we'll be using the very original Mobile Suit Gundam. Fisher Mode actually uses, actually is basically a retelling of the stories that these characters go through. Yeah, not every Gundam, not every mobile suit is a Gundam, and yeah, this is something that people get really mad at. Here's our map. So, here's Armour Ray and Gundam. So the first thing you might notice is that the mobile suit and the pilot have a level. The pilot level goes to level 30, which changes how many combos you can do, and also changes a few small things and also gains up your stats. The mobile suit gives you more special gauge and also bumps up the armor special gauge and thrusters boosts. This is the command set. Just look at it. Yeah, you'll have to remember this, and it's gets even more complicated. 
Uh, skills. The first thing is unique skills are things that the characters earn, and you cannot unequip them. General skills are skills you can equip, and I've chosen to equip these ones. Equip parts are parts that you can equip, and if you have, and if we go to change parts, and let's change this to this, because this is what it should be, you might notice there's a bonus times two of the firing sensor and times two of Professor J. This gives us a multiplier on all, on our stat boosting. That we got. If we show the bonuses, yeah, it's really good. But now let's go over fields. You may have noticed, unlike in other Dynasty Warriors games, these fields have weird lines coming across them. This is because in this game, fields can patch fields next to each other, power each other up. And not all fields have a commander. Though you just have to defeat the enemies about. Commanders will appear once you defeat defeat a certain amount of enemies, sorry. But you may have noticed, what's this big arrow here? That is the white base. These are special bases that usually have a ship or land ship or whatever defending it that can actually hurt you hurt you. I, it's very rare, but it can't hurt you. Victory conditions are as simple as that. And this is no Zaku boy. No Zaku. But, really. Though, this is not exactly how you remember it, I'm quite sure. Cause, and I don't blame you. The original Dynasty Warriors Gundam didn't really tell the story correctly. Didn't we have what Mabuthu would be more known for? That came in Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2 and 3. And they became, and the things became playable for, uh, for but hey. Let's start mission. And uh, yes, I'm playing with English voices. It's less distracting. So, controls. Move with the left stick. Change the camera with the right stick. For me, since I'm playing on Xbox, X is my attack button. Y is to switch to heavy attacks. A is to dash, and while I, when I'm at middle of attack, it allows me to do a, a dash attack. Taking out a guard allows us to keep capture our field. If we're running for a while, we can speed up. Pressing my when we're not attack when we're not attacking allows us to use our use our laser. I don't like playing this Gundam, so I am trying to get through this as quick as possible. So you may have noticed, we've got a special gauge. If you play any other Dynasty War game, you may have been, oh yeah, we get two specials. Actually, no. We get one special that goes into another special. This is what I love about the original and wish they kept. There are a few changes between Special 1, Special 2, and Special 3, and Special 4. Yes, there is a Special 4. We won't be seeing it in this, but... Since... Well, it takes a while to get to not only Special 4, but you have to fulfill certain conditions. And here comes Rambo Rao. And you'll hear why I said this is Nozaku.
que que Featured that. This is Nozaku, boy. Nozaku is a very big meme in Gundam. I'm surprised we didn't manage to clash. Because I thought we would have managed to clash. This will probably be the longest episode of the series since I actually do know how to play these games quite well. However, playing with uh, heavy man, the heavy handicap that I have does not help. Watch out for the jet stream attack. Sadly, no matter what, even if we destroy one that is not Goodbye. Mash. The Black Tristars are retreating. And we will. This is where capturing fields is kind of important because this is a lot harder when we haven't captured those fields up top, which is the reason why I actually did it right now. That's the reason why when you receive fields that are connected, you want to go for the weaker ones. Because while they take a while, they won't take, that means the bigger fields won't take as long. However, the big tray has its own health, so you want to make sure you take it, take out the enemies that are going to attack it. There goes one. Pressing RB, since I forgot that we actually do have this, is a jump. This is not too useful in the Gundam, but later we can actually have a better dash for some of the other mobile suits.
I believe we can just run up. Oh no, we can't go out and defeat it. I'm so used to having a very powerful Gundam, so I don't really usually care, and I can usually just take care of the field without trying. Yeah, I don't like playing Gundam, so you can tell that I'm trying to rush with this. For all the, for the other routes where we do switch, because there are routes where we do switch mobile suits, I will be actually switching when we do switch and that's one problem of this map is that some of the train isn't actually really just kind of there Stopping them up. The Black Christ starts on return to battle. Target Ortega. I don't know why he's standing there. There he goes, Ortega. You want to get grab that box? Finally, clash. Clashing doesn't really do much. It gives us it gives us the boost, but that boost isn't for long. And goodbye, guy. Taking that gives us full armor. Trying to, trying to get through this is not going to be easy. Oh. No, we haven't. I don't know why they say that now. I'm probably ever hear that from Rebel because Rebel never appears again in this game. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god.
And now for a normal level one special. And it's time to finish this off. And I can't move. I can move the camera, but I can't move. I don't know why they did this. I will never see him again in this game. Like, seriously, he doesn't appear again. Rambo Rattle appears again in original mode, but... And now the replay, the replay is very off sync, even at slow speeds. Next. And we've got two parts. And I'll save the data. So next time, we'll be continuing. And we'll be going to Jabru, I'm quite sure. <laughs> and we've got two achievements. So, this is Ignorant Zimmer, signing out.